Hello uh, and welcome to the latest Lucosa Retro Game Review video and this time it is Barbarian which you may think I've done before but this is Barbarian from Psygnosis not from Palace Software this is quite an early uh, Amiga game this came out in 1987 I can't remember if this was the first uh, or second uh, Psygnosis game released. If it's the first, then... Uh, uh, or rather, if it was the second, then I think Terrapods was the first. So, um... Right, as you can see, I've already got the game underway. Now, you control the Barbarian by uh, clicking the various uh, icons and he will mindlessly do whatever you uh, select him to do including getting killed and in fact you find yourself getting killed an awful lot in this game so as we go through you can't against various monsters including this one that sounds like somebody's trying to start a motorbike but uh, the icons are obviously left and right up and down, that one stops, that one for jump, that one is to run in the direction you're facing, that one is to attack, I can't remember what that one is, I think that's defend, let's try it. Okay, it's to jump backwards. It might be a special move if you've got uh, whatever it is. Ah, oh, fucking hell, that's run away. Which means I've now dropped my sword. I've got to quickly pick it up. There we go. And now I've got to fucking select it. Which I can't remember how to do. There we go. And then we've got to attack this fucking thing again. As you, obviously, as you can see, when you leave the uh, screen, if you then come back to it, everything that was here returns. Now this level looks uh, quite innocuous enough, but you actually have to jump over there because that thing falls down and will crush you if you don't. This guy is pretty easy to kill. This next screen is a bit of a pain in the arse, so we'll stop here. He will constantly keep uh, throwing those stones, so we have to wait for him to that stone to get away, run oh. past him, kill that bastard. Right. And then we want to uh, get a bit closer <coughs> without walking on the wall, nevertheless we've done it. Pick up the arrow. Yeah. You'll need those arrows because uh, later on you do find a bow and then you can use that to kill the enemies. Now it's a bit harder because we've now got to try and get back here and avoid this fucker who keeps throwing uh, rocks at us. So, there we go. Okay, that was easy. Uh, another lion man. I'll just walk up the women killer. There you go. Now I can't remember what happens from around here. Right, stop. Need a bit of a run up for this one. Right, so we'll run, jump, there we go. Right, that's a uh, rock there. You may have noticed there was uh, an eye appearing in it. So you think, right, we need to be a bit careful here. But, as far as I can huh. tell... Huh. Huh. Yeah, it never actually... Okay, it did now Ooh. just kill me. Ooh. That's the first time it's Ooh. actually succeeded in Ooh. killing me. Huh. Huh. Now, as you may have noticed, collision detection is a bit Ooh. iffy in, uh, in this game. Yeah, 
It's also a bit slow to respond sometimes. Nevertheless, we'll pick up that arrow. Yeah. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Now, I did have this game back in the day. Uh, I can't actually remember too much about it though. I never got very far unless I used cheats. Um, and in some places I found they weren't just uh, handy, they oh. were almost necessary because uh, this game gets ridiculously difficult. <laughs> Another enemy. Oh, fuck off. So we need to jump over that fucking arrow. Kill this fucker. Okay, which we managed. Okay, let's carry on going this way. I don't know what's up there. Two more arrows. They would be handy, but bollocks to it. It's not like I'm going to get very far here. Okay, well I was going to kill him, but uh, it looks like he's decided to uh, just climb on down. So, uh, on with the uh, review part. Graphically, it's reasonable. It's a not uh, mind-blowing. Uh, Sound-wise, again, it's reasonable without being fantastic. Gameplay-wise, it's a fucking... It's a bit of a mess. It's loading in the next stage. That's oh, why the oh. uh, pause there. It's, um... Yeah, it's a bit... Shit. <laughs> the uh, icon... The idea of using the icons oh, oh, is oh. reasonable. But because they are so unresponsive at times, it does not always work. In fact, more often than not, it doesn't work at all. You can uh, click on the screen to select uh, various things to do, but uh, that doesn't always work either. So you find yourself having to <coughs> stick with uh, using the icons whether you want to or not. Yeah. Uh, the game is bloody difficult, to put it mildly. Okay, so there's the arrow, or the bow rather, so in fact, I think I'll go back and get it. Oh, fuck, it means I've got to fucking do that thing. That bastard thing is not easy. <coughs> yeah, because huh. that happens. And there we go. So, um, well, that's a, a quick look at Barbarian. Uh, what you are about to see next is uh, the entire title page. Uh, it hasn't been altered in any way. It looks like it's uh, not going to appear at all. Looks like the game may have crashed. <laughs> Oh well, that's a, a fine way to end it. So, um, well, there you go. That's Barbarian. Uh, so, how do I rate it? I I don't really rate it that highly. Um, the controls are way too clunky. Uh, graphically, it's ordinary. For the time, they were great, but uh, they haven't really stood the test of time. Uh, sound is okay, but not really anything remarkable. And the gameplay is pretty horrible thanks to the clunky controls. So uh, I'll give this game three. Um, it's a bit of a novelty, but the novelty wears out uh, extremely quickly. And then you just think, why the fuck did I get this in the first place? And believe it or not, this game even spawned a sequel, which I never played, so... and probably never will. Well, there you go, that's, uh... Barbarian from Psygnosis for the Amiga. Uh, 3 out of 10, pretty forgettable stuff. So, that brings this video to an end, and we'll see you at the next one.